asteroid apocalypse, NASA and National Nuclear Defense team up. Royce Christen of News Punch reports, and they're teaming up in case they have to defend the planet from an impact. An asteroid apocalypse, the stuff Hollywood movies are made of. An asteroid is on collision course with Earth, so the world's greatest scientists team up to blow it up in an attempt to thwart the threat of complete annihilation of life on Earth. Except now it's really happening. Well, at least part where teams of great minds are coming together to figure out a plan how to blow up an asteroid with a nuclear bomb should we ever face such a threat. With conspiracy theories running rampant lately that an asteroid will indeed crash into Earth. Some are calling the timing of a recent announcement interesting. Huffington Post reports NASA is teaming up with National Nuclear Sec Security Administration to work on a planetary defense plan and to deflect a potential doomsday asteroid so it does not strike Earth, according to New York Times. The announcement came ahead of the first official Asteroid Day. Uh, asteroid Day is every year on June 30th. It's a day scientists hope will raise awareness of the threat posed by near-Earth objects and encourage governments to develop a better plan to detect and track them. June 30th is the anniversary of the 1908 impact of an asteroid in Siberia and that wiped out some 800 square miles of forest. The surprise impact of 2013 Chelyabinsk meteor, also in Russia, caused a 500 kiloton air burst over Russia and shows potentially threatening space rocks are still out there. And these, uh, this Chelyabinsk meteor was never even known to be coming in to Earth. It was a total surprise. The 2013 Chelyabinsk meteor is one of the main reasons that the agencies have had a wake-up call to a potential of an asteroid apocalypse, according to reports. And that this is what the New York Times said recently. In 2013, this extraterrestrial threat gained new credibility after a 7,000-ton rock, roughly 60 feet wide and technically a meteorite, meteorite, smaller than an asteroid, that is, exploded over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk, injuring 1,500 people, mainly as shards flew from shattered windows. The dazzling light from this rocky intruder blinded eyes and burned the skin even though the temperature that day was far below zero. Just can imagine how hot that rock was. The two agencies, NASA and the National Nuclear Security Administration, have long studied such threats on their own they have surveyed the cosmic debris, designed rocket interceptors, and run supercomputer simulations to see if a nuclear blast could nudge a large asteroid off course. The interviews, federal officials and private uh, experts said the new interagency agreement would deepen the levels of expert cooperation and governmental planning, ultimately increasing the chances of a successful deflection. It's a big step forward, said Kevin Greenaw, He's the uh, senior official at the Nuclear Security Agency. He said, whenever you have multiple agencies come together for the common defense, that's news. So hopefully this news will, and the agencies teaming up will help thwart any potential asteroid apocalypse, at least in our lifetimes. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help 
economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.